What's up, creator? I'm Angel Marie, creator educator over at ConvertKit. Today, we're gonna be diving into how to create an effective email sequence for your business. Let's get started. Although a lead magnet or a landing page is a perfect way to attract new subscribers, that relationship doesn't really begin until your email sequence. Now these pre-scheduled emails are a perfect way to meet your audience where they currently are and to provide educational content in order to bring them to a desired destination. And when filled with valuable material, you're gonna be able to prime your subscribers to purchase a product or a service when you're ready to actually sell. But before you even pitch that offering, you wanna focus on building trust first. People want to know that you understand their pain points and that you're super passionate about offering a solution that helps them. Now, there's a couple of different email sequences to help you do just that. A welcome sequence that teaches who you are, what you do, and why it's relevant. An onboarding sequence that brings your recent buyers through a journey of understanding how to effectively use a product or a service of yours. An event email sequence if you're hosting a live webinar or a conference or even a cold subscriber sequence that re-engages those who have not interacted with your emails. Let's walk through how you can create an effective email sequence right in ConvertKit. To create your email sequence, all you're gonna do is head up here to the Automations tab. From there, click Sequences, and then click New Sequence. Next, go ahead and give your sequence a name and click Create Sequence. Then you'll be redirected to where you can build out the actual content that will live within your sequence. So in this very first email, go ahead and give it a subject line. And then from there, you can customize the content that you want to live in this email. You'll also notice a plus button that pops up on the left-hand side where you can add in plenty of more creative components to this email, such as the subscriber's first name, a numbered list, a quote, an image, and so much more. To add more emails to your sequence, you're just gonna click the add email button and continue to add as many emails as you would like to live within this series. Now, if you're wanting to pitch an actual sale of a digital product or service, you can easily connect ConvertKit Commerce to link in your products within the last email of the sequence or even within the last few emails of your sequence. To do this, you're just gonna head up to the products tab of your ConvertKit account. You're gonna create your new product if you haven't already created your product page. But if you've had, just head up here to edit and then head over here to publish so that you can copy this link straight into your email series. And that is exactly how you're gonna be able to make that sales pitch or offer at the end of your sequence if you are wanting. Now, when you're all done finalizing your email sequence, just make sure that the status of each email in this series is switched from draft to publish so that your subscribers are receiving it. And then you're gonna clarify when you want each email to actually send within the sequence. Now to connect this email sequence to an automation to make sure that it automatically gets sent for you, you're gonna to wanna to connect the sequence to a form or a landing page. To do this, just go back up here to the Automations tab, click New Automation, and then from here, you're gonna create a brand new automation from scratch. Now you can either create a brand new landing page if you're just starting this out, or you can create a landing page that you've already uh, built out in the past. So just go ahead and select that when ready, click add event. And then from here, you're gonna head to this plus button, make sure it's highlighted on action, click email sequence, and then you're gonna look for the sequence that we have just created in this demo. Next, click add action. Now what you're seeing here is a fully built out automation. As soon as subscribers fill out this landing page to join our email list, they will automatically get our welcome series that we have built. To make sure that this automation is switched from pause to active and that it's working for you continuously, all you're gonna do is switch this on from paused to on and you are good to go. And that's exactly how you can create an effective email sequence for your business. If you'd like to check it out and give it a try for yourself, you can sign up down below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.